Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, everyone. Uh, I want you to welcome uh, my best friend from Egypt. He's just visiting the uh, United States. And I figure out that we shoot a video very quick. Uh, I'm sure he can give us some information and help us a little bit uh, and tell us first about himself. He is my best friend for over 20 years and more than 20 years. I let him introduce himself and then he can take over from there. Go ahead. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I'm uh, so glad to be here. And uh, also, I'm uh, very happy to meet uh, an old friend for more than 20 years, actually. And uh, inshallah, uh, we're going to talk about something. Uh, I hope it will be beneficial for everyone. Inshallah. What was it? What, what is it? <laughs> it's, uh, That's what, what I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, your career is what, you know, just introduce yourself, what do you do, uh, okay. real estate? I work in real estate, yes, uh -huh. I work actually, uh, uh, I did real estate in, in here in the United States, and uh, now I'm in Egypt, I have uh, my own training academy, I teach real estate. What's uh, the, the name of the, the, the... Step Up Solutions, I don't want it to be commercial, but, <laughs> but it's the Step Up Solutions, and uh, I train a lot of people actually to get in the real estate field, and uh, you know, uh, especially the beginners, the, the ones uh, that want to pursue career in real estate. Uh, I help them a lot uh, in doing that. Okay, we're gonna take this opportunity to see what's how's the real estate in Egypt right now. It is like now all the the, the Egyptian overseas in the United States. Uh, wondering how's the state, the how's the real estate in Egypt? Is it because? The, we hear big numbers and uh, new cities and stuff like that, and the number is unbelievable. We're talking about millions. Uh, is this really selling? as people actually buying that, or just a, well, it just? If you're asking me about the real estate market in Egypt, so I can tell you the market is so strong. The market is booming. Uh, the demand is so high on real estate. To be honest with you, the the only working investment is real estate. You know, uh, there are other uh, type of investments, of course, people, uh, they uh, either uh, have lack of information about the type of investments or don't have experience, of course, or uh, they just uh, don't trust them, they don't trust the type of business. But real estate always, uh, you know, real estate, it is real, something real. So, uh, but the number is it's true or is it like it is fluctuate? Like I, I don't know what you heard, but it, but. It, there's a lot of this, like uh, the, the, the like um, houses, like is like uh, at five million, eight million dollars in new city, in the new yes. city. Yes. Wow. And people actually have this yeah. money, though. Yeah. Wow. Matter of fact, the, the the expensive ones are the ones who are selling. Oh. You know. Oh. So less million, maybe they have difficulty of selling. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Then what you know in your uh, academy, you you teach them the 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 style how to. Of course. Yeah. Uh, it's, the concept of. Uh, selling real estate mm -hmm. itself, mm -hmm. uh, also how to uh, approach the clients and uh, the tool and methods that you use to uh, approach the clients. Mm -hmm. And also, I train them not to be salespeople, to be consultant more, because actually the, the consumer now looks at uh, the, the, the people that help him out, the salespeople, who I'm still going to call themselves uh, as a name. Uh, he looks for the for the consultant part. He doesn't want just somebody to tell him what this is a better house. He wants a consultant. Why there is demand on this area? What's the future for this area? Why uh, such area is more expensive than the other? You know, and so on. So, well, I'm so you know, I'm I'm very interesting to, to have a question that I have it all, over ten years now. Why you left the United States of America and then you find and you do your real estate in America and you're very successful because I know that I I watched that I saw you and now you went to Egypt and now you work in the same career is uh, is the demand and better business in Egypt and you what's the reason behind you staying in Egypt? Okay. Uh, well, that's a good question. Though. Yeah, <laughs> the, the 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 main reason uh, there are other personal reasons we won't go through now but actually. It, my, my the idea that I took to Egypt, uh, which was the training, you know, people oh. to be trained before to get in this field. You know how this field is very uh, respected in, in the United States, yeah. you know, you see how the brokers are. and uh, So the idea was to make a real estate market, to make it more professional, to have people that train, that they know, that they, they have the know-how for the business, mm -hmm. you know, before they get in, into this field. So this was my idea, and uh, actually I joined one of the multinational companies for uh, 
14 years, I believe, or 15 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was doing training also. And uh, now I moved on and I opened my own company to train more people. Mashallah, mashallah. That's, that's a very good point. I want to take yeah. the, the, you know, a uh, chance of this opportunity and, and, and ask you some question about how how's the Muslims are in the United States nowadays. Oh, well, alhamdulillah, <laughs> we, are, we, we established, mashallah, that the Islam is spreading very well, alhamdulillah. And the messages is everywhere. Uh, but the problem is that the, the different nationality and different backgrounds of Muslims. Then um, Why is this is a problem? It's a problem because culture is involved with the religion. Then the people yeah. coming from culture, that they think this is a religion, and then when they're the, when we educate them about the true Islam, Alhamdulillah, we are blessed by the Azhar and we are blessed by Egypt and Mashaykh of Egypt. Then when we are telling them that this is this is not actually exist in Islam, this is your culture, they get shocked. It's like they cannot, it, they cannot change, it cannot adopt, and then they will. Uh, they will say, no, this is the, I saw my parent doing that. This is, they told him, this is not Islam at all. And the kids. So what you're trying to say is that people mix their cultures with, the, with Islam. Exactly. And the, we, the ones that they really suffer from that is the kids. Because the kids disrespect, not disrespect, but they don't accept or they don't like the culture because it doesn't make sense for them. And when the, the, the relief, when they know that the Imam told them, this is not Islam, this is culture, and Islam is purely against that, then so we what, win them what, back. what do you do then? Do they give up their culture for Islam? But, well, this is the challenge for the dua in the United States, that we are trying to bring the kids to the correct Islam, and we're trying to teach the parents about the correct Islam and how to treat the kids in the United States because they have nothing to do with the culture that the parents come from. Mm -hmm. Then we're dealing with three aspects. It's like the true Islam, and culture and the new generation who born here that they have to deal with their parents and to deal with the real life. Mm. Then it's another battle that we are fighting, totally different than real estate though. But just <laughs> but anyway, uh, how long are you gonna stay here? Because we, uh, we wanna make more than one uh, sure. episode. Uh, actually, I'm staying for uh, four more days. Oh my so God. Unfortunately, that we started this. Uh, very That's very, very late, yeah, late. But we're gonna shoot more, we're gonna shoot more. And then I, I think I heard that they, they are here to give us some food here. Then we have okay. to we have to shut it down and we have to eat. Yalla, <laughs> <laughs> assalamu alaikum, rahmatullah, guys, jazakum khair, wa assalamu alaikum.